What's going on, everybody? So the uh, the NFL season may finally be over, and we are 212 days away from the start of next season. But that doesn't mean there's uh, not any football to talk about. There's plenty of drama to talk about uh, around this league. And I want to talk a little bit about Johnny Manziel, who's been in the headlines uh, recently. Um, and I guess, too, before I start talking about it, I will address, like, I was very high on Johnny Manziel coming out of college. I thought very high. I thought very highly of him. I thought he left a little bit too early, but I was very high on him. Uh, and I think I was one of the few people because when it comes to the bandwagon with Johnny Manziel, the bandwagon with him is mostly the haters and the doubters rather than the supporters. So I feel like I was more of an outsider rooting for him. And I guess you could say I was wrong, uh, but I don't necessarily think I would. I don't know if I consider Johnny Manziel a bust quite yet. But uh, with some of the stuff that's been going on, who knows if he'll even see an NFL field again. So he might very well be a bust. Now, uh, so some recent stuff that's come out. Uh, obviously you have all these allegations against him that he's hit his girlfriend and stuff. And I say allegations because it hasn't been proven yet. Uh, and now her lawyer's coming out and saying that, uh, I don't know what eardrum it was, left or right, but I guess when he hit her, uh, it ruptured one of her eardrums, so now she's left deaf in one of her ears, which is very unfortunate if it's true. Um, and then before that even happened, the Cleveland, the Browns pretty much announced that they were going to part ways with Johnny come March. Um, and I guess to talk a little about about this... Uh, you know, I don't think Johnny was ever really given a chance to show off his skills. We always saw flashes of what he could do uh, and stuff in Cleveland. But when the, uh, the problem with Cleveland is they play quarterback carousel over there, all right? They don't ever really give a quarterback more than two games in a row, like, a chance. Like, if you do bad two games in a row, they're automatically going to replace you. I mean, if you think back to Russell Wilson's rookie season, I mean, it's not that his first few games were terrible, but he wasn't particularly great. He threw three interceptions in one of the uh, three interceptions in one of the games against the Rams. You know, two against the Panthers, and he was kind of he was uh, doing a little bit of turnovers his first eight games of the season. But we stuck with him. We didn't go back and forth between Russell Wilson and Matt Flynn. And uh, the other problem is, and you see this a lot, is the front office and the management wanted Johnny Manziel in Cleveland, but the head coach Mike Pettin didn't. And that's a very bad scenario, kind of like with the Washington Redskins. Uh, you have Mike Shanahan, who didn't really want RG3, but the front office and management did. And that's also why they drafted Kirk Cousins in the fourth round that same year, because, you know, uh, Mike Shanahan really wanted him. And it's it's a very bad, it's very bad when you, uh, when a head coach and a quarter, like if a head coach doesn't really want a quarterback, I, I just feel like it's, it's just a very bad chemistry. It's just a very bad atmosphere the whole time, because... Uh, and then, you know, after Mike Shanahan gets fired from Washington, uh, uh, Jay Gruden and stuff comes in, and he's and he, he has nothing to prove. He it, If RG3 fails, that's not on his name. He's not the one that drafted him. So he's, you know, he's obviously the the media and a lot of fans are pressuring him to start RG3, but he doesn't have this relationship with RG3. He doesn't really believe in him. So he wants Kirk Cousins and stuff, and it creates this whole debacle within the organization. So right off the bat in Cleveland, it's already a disaster because the head coach doesn't even want the quarterback that they drafted in the first round. Uh, so right off the bat, it's a disaster. Plus, like what I said, they play quarterback carousel in Cleveland. They don't ever really give a quarterback that much of a chance. They're always switching back and forth between games. Uh, it's it, it's just a, a huge mess. And the one thing when it comes to Johnny Menzel, I don't mind the partying and stuff. Like, you know, do what you want. But, like, I guess... Uh, I mean, maybe wait till after the season. Because, like, doing it all in the middle of the season and stuff, especially you only won three games this year, <laughs> all right? Uh, I believe they only won three. I think they finished three and 13. It, I mean, what, what are you celebrating? <laughs> I mean, I understand going out and having a good time and stuff, and especially during the off season. But, I mean, during the regular season and stuff, and then you're you're going to Vegas on a Saturday and then coming back the game before the day before or whatever, and you're, like, you're wearing a wig and a fake mustache, supposedly. I don't know if that was ever proven. But it's just it, it's just absolutely crazy. And, I mean, you're getting paid all this money, especially since you were a first-round pick. You're getting paid all this money. And I, I, when I look at Johnny Manziel, I kind of have to wonder if he even cares about being a great quarterback or even, like, winning or if he just wants the fame. I mean, you know, he hangs out with Drake. He hangs out with LeBron James, who, by the way, I don't see Drake or LeBron James really coming to his defense lately uh, or anything, at least not publicly. Maybe they're doing it privately. But, you know, LeBron James dropped him from his endorsements thing, and all these friends and celebrity friends that it seemed he used to have just don't really seem to bother with him too much more, and it's kind of sad. This guy is... And, and Ryan Leaf talked about it about a week ago during some of these Super Bowl uh, uh, previews and stuff. He was saying it's almost a mirror image of himself, and it's it's really quite sad to see. I, listen, I don't like to root for people to fail. Obviously, we all have rivals and stuff and it's always kind of fun you know rooting I guess against a team but I don't ever like to root against a person 
or against a person's career. I like to see people do good. And uh, I, at first I was really upset with all this stuff that was happening with Johnny Manziel. I was like, I feel like Cleveland really destroyed him. But then all this other stuff starts coming out with these allegations of domestic abuse and stuff like that. And uh, I know it hasn't been proven or anything or nothing's been charged, but man, it's 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 not looking good. And, and from what I see and what I can just purely speculate, it looks like he's probably going to be charged here soon. Unless she's lying about the whole thing, which, you know, could be true, but I don't think she is. It's it's just not looking good for Johnny. And uh, has he seen, like, has he played his last NFL game in his career? Quite possibly. And it's quite sad because, like I said, I think he has a tremendous amount of talent. And I think just... I mean, he he's it's obvious he has an addiction. I was very happy last offseason because he was going to rehab and stuff, and I talked a little bit about that in one of my earlier videos. Uh, I talked about how I was happy he was going to rehab and how he realized he had an issue, and it seemed like he actually had everything back together. He was he stopped doing his little money sign every time he would just get a first down and stuff, and it seemed like he was really kind of progressing and maturing. And then he just goes back to his old ways, and listen, uh, this is, it, it's not good. Uh, it's, it's really not. You're kind of seeing someone, like, crumble like right before your own, uh, very own eyes like on national television and uh it, it really is quite sad and addiction is a real issue and uh, i hope he can get help for it but like i said with these with these domestic abuse uh, charges it looks like he might be facing here soon it's it's really not looking good for his for his nfl career i don't know i don't know if he's seen his last nfl game but if he has, it's it's really sad because, it, in my opinion, it's a waste of talent. I know a lot of people seem to think he was always going to be a bust. I, I, I still think if he was drafted by another team other than the Cleveland Browns, he could have been really something. Because I I think the skill set was always there with Johnny Menzel. A lot of people say, oh, we, he was short, he was short. I'm a Seahawks fan. We have a 5'11 quarterback named Russell Wilson. So every time someone says a quarterback is short, I'm just going to say Russell Wilson. Or I'm going to say Drew Brees or Michael Vick. Because they've all they've all done it. And uh, they've all they've all won. Um, obviously, Drew Brees and Russell Wilson more than Michael Vick, but Michael Vick and earlier in his career was a winner as well. So Johnny Menzel, I I really hope he can get uh, his life back together, and I hope I hope all these things I'm hearing with all this domestic abuse stuff, I hope it's I hope it's not true because that's that's really gonna suck for him, and that's that's really that's really not good. And he just you have this golden opportunity, your first round pick. Uh, a lot of people didn't even think you should have been a first-round pick. You get drafted. You he had a chance to prove yourself, and you just, yeah, you just kind of threw it away, man. Uh, and I understand you you battle addiction and stuff, and addiction is a real thing. But uh, it's it, it really is sad to see someone just kind of throw away their NFL career like that. And like I said, I'm not sure if he even really ever cared about football. It seemed like all he really cared about was the fame and uh, hanging with celebrities. And if that's all he cared about, then that's fine. Because I mean, he got it. <laughs> you know, he got it for a brief period of time. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think about Johnny Menzel down in the comments below. Do you like him? Do you hate him? What do you think is going to be going on? Do you think he's played his last NFL game of his career? Let me know down below. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for all watching the video, and go Hawks!